Hello all and welcome to another collection video and today we're looking at Panasonic 3DO and first up we have Way of the Warrior which is a fighting game I have fond memories of to give you a little bit of history with me and the 3DO my uncle had both a 3DO and a CDI when I was a kid so I would often go over to his and play these games uh, Where the Warrior it was made by Naughty Dog, yes, those of Uncharted fame and Crash Bandicoot. And it was an earlier game of theirs, of course. And it's not bad. It This game isn't really that appreciated, but it's much better than another game I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, it's got a soundtrack by White Zombie. It's Mortal Kombat-esque. It's reasonably well put together. It's, yeah, it's the closest thing you'll get to Mortal Kombat on the 3DO. And whatever you do, don't buy the following game. If you want a Mortal Kombat type game, buy this. Do not ever buy this. Even as a curiosity, now I don't have the original case for this, but this game's called Shadow War of Succession. And again, it tries to emulate Mortal Kombat but it's terrible. There is no redeeming features to this game whatsoever. Think of the most bare bones Mortal Kombat clone you could think of. Couple that with amazingly irritating voice samples and just a sort of in your face sort of presentation that just makes you want to reach for the off switch on your 3DO. So don't get this game, it's crap. There you go. Um, a game that isn't crap that I used to play quite a lot growing up was Captain Quasar, perhaps my favourite 3DO game of my younger years. Now this is an isometric shooting game where you play as Captain Quasar and you have to rescue the hostages, launch the rockets and finish the levels. And it's got a sense of humour, it's got a cool soundtrack. I think Captain Quasar is a great game for the 3DO. Next up, a game from EA, Escape from Monster Manor, which has some FMV if I recall. It's not the greatest first person shooter type game, but um, it's good. It's more, I wouldn't really call it a first person shooter, even though that I guess that is the main gameplay mechanic of it. but. It's, it's, from what I remember at least, it's a little bit slower. You have like a laser gun. And um, my memories of this are a little hazy. It's another one that I played growing up. But it, I think it was the atmosphere that left the biggest impression on me in, in this game, in the presentation, as opposed to the actual gameplay. That's a terrible review of Escape from Monster Man. You can find better on YouTube, but uh, I have it in my collection. Another game I have, which is all about atmosphere, is Alone in the Dark. Not necessarily about graphics. Look, take a look at this game today. You can, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look great, basically. But um, this was the precursor to games like Resident Evil. And uh, yeah, it's an interesting play nowadays, but yeah, the, the genre has been surpassed but it has a very eerie atmosphere. So, next up, it's Gex. And Gex is, from my knowledge anyway, one of the few 2D platformers on the 3DO. In fact, right now it's the only one I can actually think of. Um, of course, Gex went on to more uh, popularity in the sequel, Gex 3D or Gex 64, or Gex 2, or whatever it's been called nowadays. But um, this one's not bad, by any means. Um, if you want a 3D plat sorry, a 2D platformer for your 3DO, then Gex is a uh, good pickup. Move on to Twisted, the game show. So Twisted is, as the title uh, says there, it's a game show game. I've played this very little, but you can Play with up to four players for this game. Got FMV in it, as a lot of games of this time did. And yeah, I remember this being pretty entertaining. So this is also by EA. 
Next up, now excuse the horrible uh, box I've got for this one. <laughs> this is Wing Commander 3, Heart of the Tiger. Um, so this is again FMV, but if you're familiar with the Wing Commander series, you go off in first person, flying spaceships and having partaking in spaceship combat. Now what I find quite interesting about this particular game is, yeah, because the amount of FMV, it's over so many discs. But the way they decided to put these discs in is like this. And, and, and they constantly fall out, <laughs> which isn't fun. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a quite odd way to house the discs. Uh, have not got the manual for this, but I do have it on PS1 as well. But uh, when I got this, it did come with someone has printed off the controls. So that's, uh, that's quite helpful. Now a game that I would recommend for the 3DO, again by EA, is the original Need for Speed. Again, as of the time, it includes some great FMV sequences between races, of your rival challenging you um, to the races. And like most 3D ga 3DO games I have, the disc falls out of the case. Uh, there we go. It probably wasn't in the properly in that, in that case. <laughs> um, yeah, instruction manual with this. It's a good game. It's also got another instruction manual. That is the French and German version. Right, there you go. Need for Speed. Um, a good pickup for 3DO. Uh, the Horde is by Crystal Dynamics, like Gex was also. And um, I'm just grabbing a cup of tea there, just in case you're wondering. As, as I do this, can't let my tea go cold. The Horde. So the Horde is a strategy game, which has um, got FMV in it, <laughs> and it's also got a nice sense of humour too. So um, yeah, it's a little bit tricky to get into, but um, not bad by any means. Worth worth giving giving a shot if you can get it cheap enough. Another game published by Crystal Dynamics but developed by SNK is Samurai Showdown. Of course it is, and. Uh, like Gex also, I've got a big scratch in like the same, well crack actually, in the same place on the case. Uh, Samurai Showdown is a good way to show off the 2D capabilities of your 3DO. It plays well. The 3DO could actually play fighting games like this um, very well. And the same goes for Street Fighter 2. I can say a little bit more about Street Fighter 2 actually. This is Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And this has all the animation from, from what I can tell that was present in the original arcade version. It's got, it's fast, it plays fast, and it has reasonably fast load times as well. It's actually a very good way to play Street Fighter 2, providing you've got the right controller for it. Uh, because the standard 3DO controller has oh, three face buttons and two shoulder buttons, and a start and select button. So they put the punches as standard on the shoulder buttons. They put the third punch, or probably light punch, onto the select button of all places, and all the kicks are on the three face buttons. Um, this makes it very difficult to play, in my experience, and the diagonals on the standard 3DO controller aren't very good. So yeah, if you're used to playing Street Fighter 2, you have to readjust to the 3DO controller but I would recommend picking up the Capcom Soldier controller which looks a little bit weird but it's a six button controller that actually is more comfortable than it looks and um, yeah it helps improve this game drastically. Um, continuing with fighting games Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon is a Japanese import. The nice thing about uh, yes, I'm not doing a separate import video for 3DO because I don't have that many import 3DO games. Um, yeah, so this plays on any 3DO. 3DO is not region locked, so you can import games for it and not have to worry if they'll play or not. But this is not bad at all, really. It reminds me a lot of Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22, whereas you've got sprites of the characters that look a lot like their animated counterparts. Uh, and the backgrounds actually in this are, are pretty nice. They're, they're, they're quite um, watercolour-esque, 
and uh, there's a lot of voice samples in this game and there's a few cutscenes and it's not a bad fighting game at all. Some of the moves take ages to uh, register. Well, you, you do the move and then the whole animation takes forever so it's heavy on animation to the detriment of the actual gameplay in some cases but yeah if you like fighting games this is worth a go. Although we've already seen about four fighting games for 3DO, so it's not short of uh, fighters. Uh, Starblade is a game by Namco, a spaceship shooting game. It was pretty important at the time because it in included very quite nice 3D graphics, texture mapped polygon 3D technology as it claims on the back. Um, it's actually a really nice looking, looking game. I can't quite remember exactly how easy it is to play or how good it is as a game but you actually get to experience this I think on Tekken 5 on the load screen when you load at Tekken 5 on the PS2 the actual opening loading screen is Starblade so you can play this game elsewhere but this is the 3DO version. Return Fire is a highly regarded 3DO action game where you drive a tank and you shoot stuff um, might not just be a tank, again it's been a while since I played this, it's got a multiplayer mode. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, that's one that's worth a shot, but not played it that much, unfortunately. Uh, Powers Kingdom is an RPG, and if you don't like RPGs this isn't going to convince you of the strength of the genre. It's not particularly strong in terms of its story, in fact I can't even recall it having much of a story, but it does have random turn-based battles, so if you like those then you might get a kick out of Power's Kingdom. Killing Time is uh, it's a first-person shooter, isn't it? I know I should know these things, but uh, it's been a while since i played some of these games. Uh, true to Life Action Life action figures and opponents, as well as realistic fighting sequences. Now, I don't understand that. 360 degree viewing range and extensive arsenal weapons. Yeah, it's a shooter. It's got original soundtrack as well, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, I uh, again, it's got FMV in it. I have fond memories of playing this as a kid, but I really need to go back and revisit it. And here there are some, three, uh, some secret strategies for killing time someone has cut out and placed in the back of the case. There's, there's some weird humour in this game too, so that's also one to put on your 3DO radar. D's Diner. So this is the game D, um, which is also available on PC and Saturn. It is a horror game, FMV based horror game with puzzles and such. Um, basically you move from one FMV sequence to the other. This is Japanese, it's the first version, well sorry, it's a special edition version of it and I think this is reasonably collectible, director's cut. Uh, I can't get the case out of the cardboard box, so I don't think I've ever played it. Isn't that funny? Anyway, it's in the collection. Something else which is a little bit more collectible is uh, Lemmings for the 3DO, which comes in this uh, big long box. This is the American copy of the game and it's quite nice how it's presented. And this version is in reasonably good condition too. It's a good version of Lemmings from what I remember. So um, do check that out if you can. And lastly, I just have a few 3DO demo discs. This one's got a few um, FMV games like Space Ace, Brain Dead 13 and Dragon's Lair. This one's got Theme Park, there's Syndicate. There's a demo of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, this has got all sorts on it. I don't know if they're all playable or they're videos. And uh, this is Olympic Games 1996, Atlanta. Demo. Here we have a demo with Starfighter. Might just be video, I'm not sure. Uh, Captain Quasar on Battle Sport. Battle Sport's alright, I think. Phoenix 3 as well. I think I remember that being an okay game. Uh, so yeah, there's a, definitely a few more games I'd like to get for the 3DO because it, it's not a must-have system by any means, but there are a few good games for it. I wouldn't go out of your way and spend a lot of money on a 3DO console because really there's not an, enough must-play titles available for it to warrant a purchase. I got my 3DO years and years ago and it wasn't expensive and 
the games for the most part aren't particularly expensive either some are rising in price now but um, that brings me to the end of the video thanks very much again for taking the time to watch this if you like the sort of content uh, then you might want to subscribe to Bass Process. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then uh, please leave a like and uh, let me know what you think of the 3DO. So until I see you again for another video, it's goodbye and game on. See ya.